All right, part two on the inverter, part one of the Outback Off-Grid uh, demonstration, the inverters particularly, and of course this is your user guide that comes with the power panel. And so you can see that basically there is lots of room to expand by adding charge controllers. Uh, the power panel is designed to house two inverters and they do make a Flexware 1000 that is roughly twice the size of this and is designed for four inverters. Uh, whether or not you choose to run more than one charge controller is entirely up to your load, your PV, and your battery bank. More or less, it's up to your the amount of um, PV or uh, solar panels or whatever your generation is. I'm running a single at this time. And in future videos in this series, we will be talking about um, the charge controller. We'll be talking about the solar arrays that power the charge controller uh, and as well as battery thoughts and uh, why all of this just works together. Okay, there's another picture of the hub. Again, that is the communication interface for all devices attached on the power panel. Uh, certainly each inverter has a spot in the hub, the charge controller and the mate uh, all plug into that one central location. Okay. And here is just uh, one diagram that you may look at that shows batteries, the inverter, and what have you. Okay. Pretty straightforward, really, and there's really not much instruction that comes with the Flexware 500 user guide, uh, but certainly when it comes to the FX series installation manual, uh, there is also a corresponding book that covers solely programming. And, and it's the programming that is really important with this uh, because there is a lot, there is a lot going on in the programming. I mean, the mate comes with a book all by itself that you can see right here, right? And of course, this is the book for the charge controller. Now, as you can see, the mate is off and the charge controller is off. The way this powers up is on the DC side first. And these two breakers control the battery supply to each inverter. And of course, you'll note that these are 250 amp DC rated breakers, uh, which is more than enough to handle the current uh, that each inverter can handle you'll see that all of the indicator lights are off. So this is completely powered down right now. And at this time, all I'm going to do is simply throw the breakers. You now see lights appearing. You hear it powering up. And you also see the mate has now come to life. Okay, of course we're running a 24 volt battery system nominal and currently battery voltage is at 25.4 volts. You can see that it says no AC in and you can also see that it says inverting although because of these bypass breakers the system isn't actually producing any current through the batteries. You can see now that the indicator lights are showing batteries are full uh, and that uh, the inverter is in green. So everything's powered in. We've got AC out and we've got DC active. No errors. Everything's cool, right? Now, if I was to go ahead and flip the AC on, you can see that now it says AC in, it's sampling the grid power, which is what that flashing yellow light means. 
it senses AC in. And now the mate sensing the AC power is now putting it into a charge profile. And you can see that it is beginning to charge the batteries up to the absorb voltage of a 24 volt battery system and currently charging at 300 watts. Um, I've seen this thing charge at up to 1600 watts before and it seems to me that uh, it's capable of an 80 amp an 80 amp charge rate yeah 85 amps right here continuous battery charger output 85 amps at 24 volts so I'm not going to go ahead and flip on uh, the other breakers because I would have to go and disconnect my electric hot water heater from the sub panel first uh, because uh, that will quickly drain the batteries and I just don't want to do that. But, but certainly you, you can get a very good idea of how the system works. See it's already dropping off the charge voltage because really the batteries aren't discharged. So, that's basically it for the inverse segment, folks. I thank you for watching Solar Steve. And don't forget to catch my show on the Watchman.fm, Saturdays and Sundays, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. And we will be talking about power prepping and uh, news of the week. Uh, we take your phone calls and answer your questions. So until then, this is Solar Steve from Solar Nation with the inverter segment of the Outback Off-Grid demonstration series. Thanks for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll be talking to you later.